Foreign Minister Donika Gavala Schwartz, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. You placed your embassy here in Jerusalem, one of only a handful of countries to do that, the only country with a Muslim majority to do that. Have you faced a backlash for that? Yes, but we take our decisions uh, where our embassies are, and it was a promise, a commitment of the former government in Washington um, uh, that we are going to open our embassy in Jerusalem, and we stay to our promises. Others did at the same meeting uh, promise the same, but I do not see them here around. So. We keep our promises because we are a reliable partner internationally. And yes, we have explained a lot to other partners who are uh, here in the region, but others as well. For example, you, uh, we explained our EU partners why our embassy is here. And uh, this is foreign policy. Uh, you need to talk and to explain to partners and allies the reasons why you are where you are. Are there any circumstances under which the embassy would move out of Jerusalem? You can never uh, tell what will uh, happen in the future, but if you ask me if I see now any reasons for the future, I don't see them. So we will work from here and we will try to be very clear that Kosovo is a small but reliable and serious partner. Would you, for example, move the embassy out of Jerusalem if the Palestinian Authority were to recognize your country? I do not see that, uh, and I do not see the recognition uh, as far as I can um, uh, judge that at this moment. Yes, we are interested in having good relationship to Palestine as well, and we are uh, we have established a good contact, and so we are really. It's not either nor, or it's not. Uh, we Kosovo is not uh, telling partners that if you want to have a good relationship to Kosovo, you need to have a better relationship to Serbia, just because we have the problem that we have with our complicated neighborhood. How important are your relations with Israel as a part of your relations with Washington? Yes, we are happy that Washington helped uh, for the recognition, but I think that uh, we do not need any more Washington in this in relationship we have, because I think we will do good and best uh, without needing Washington always um, uh, observing uh, what we are doing. But at the same time, I think that uh, in Washington everybody is happy about, very happy about what we have, and they will be more happier uh, when we see that uh, the concrete results of what was established in September 2020. What do you have to learn from us, and what do we have to learn from you? We have this this structure of people who have left Kosovo, have experienced Kosovo, and their children, the second generation. We are very aware how what an asset this diaspora for our country is, and we started to ask ourselves what will, how will this uh, go when the third and the fourth generation will come. So that's why we need to learn from your experience, because we have this very interested and very very linked to the country diaspora, but we need to preserve that and we need to make our country interesting for the children of our children.